Hello everybody, today I'm going to make a short and detailed guide for Ravenloft hunts. I'm going to do that with one of the coolest people in Everwinter, my beloved friend Rooks. Rooks, say hi to everybody. Hello everyone, it's Rooks and hello Diamond. Hello, I'm going to show you first where we are located at. We are at the entrance of the hunts and as you see this is the Borovia town. And right on the side is the location of the hunts and where is the Madam Eve located? So the best part of this new system of the hunts is what you don't need to complete the campaign anymore. You can do the hunts from the beginning. You just need to complete one quest. It is the quest from Esmeralda, which is based in the in the town of Barovia. And she's going to give a quest called Dire Fang. The quest is very simple. You just need to do one of the hunts, just going to send you to location, you finish the hunt, and after you can continue doing the hunts you like. The hunt is much easier than before, because we don't need to actually search for the specific, specific monsters and wait for them to respond. You can get a tier 1 hunt from any monsters around the Borovia location. Any, any higher level monsters drop the posters. The posters look like that. We have two of them. And as you can see, there is a chance of dropping Borovia wanted poster two star. So it works similar to like it worked before. You kill the tiers, uh, tier one hunt, you have a chance to drop a tier two item. So it works similar. You kill the tier one star monster and you have a chance to drop two stars one so it's a similar way and when you kill two stars monster you have a chance to drop a three stars so now we come to the lady madam eva the madam eva is the one who lets you to choose which hunt you want to actually do if you have more than one you you can choose to, from her which one you want to do first which one you keep for later so I'm going to choose the first one right now. Let us see what this foul creature will appear. The thief. Beware a hidden watching eye whilst braving narrow crossing on high. The necromancer. So what Eva is doing, she's expla explaining the locations where the the monster is ho going to spawn. There is three locations. After you damage the monster to around 70% of HP, it disappears from the first location and ends up in the second, and you need to find it. And when you damage it to 50%, it disappears again, and, and you need to find it in the third one. The locations has the names by... You can see on the, on the right side. The first appearance is the thief, and I have the locations written in my chat. The thief is the fell bridge. When you enter, I'm going to show where exactly it's located. I'm going to actually make the screenshot and link it in the description so you have all locations for yourself to, to find it easier. Now what you do to do, need to do next is to, to pick the three cards. What is the cards? going to actually show what those cards do so all these cards are actually located to the hunts and you need to choose the cards really carefully because the cards add a challenge and add an extra reward but if you do it alone you need to to watch carefully to not choose too much challenge for yourself because you not be, you won't be able to to actually complete it so the, the cons is quite easy, the, the high deck is the, is the highest challenges. The, the artifact one is a challenge, during the hunt player are unable to use the artifacts and items. And as a reward you get one random armor piece. Like the whole ghost is uh, during the hunt when enemies are killed, enemy ghost will spawn in their place. And this is the box I have. During the hunt, player stamina charge time is doubled. So that means what your stamina recharge is going to recharge much slower. 
this year is the time to complete the hunt will be reduced by five minutes to complete the hunt it gives you 20 minutes so if you choose this uh, this card you're gonna lose five minutes so you're gonna have to complete it in less than 15 minutes otherwise it's going to be not completed anymore so yes in that in that card sorry excuse me yes in that card you might want to suggest doing it with a friend or a party Yes, because it's going to be much easier to, to kill with somebody. And I would recommend to, to tier one, you can do it by yourself, but tier two and tier three hunts, I would definitely recommend to get somebody with you. For tier three, even two or three people extra. Because it's, it's going to be much more difficult. The monsters hit harder and they have more HP. Right now, I'm going to, to choose the to random cards. During the hunt, enemies will do 120% more damage. So if you if you add a couple cards like this, it's going to be really hard for it to, to complete. But I'm going to probably add one of these myself, just to see how it works and how hard the monster actually hits. So that would be it for the cards. Well, the epic cards actually adds the artifact bonus, but I don't have the artifact now. So it doesn't mean anything to me. Or to me. Yes. Right now I have 12 cards in my inventory. And when I select the three cards, when you actually enter the hunt and do the hunt, those cards are going to disappear and you're going to need to get another card. So I'm going to choose three cards. Don't have the hunt enemies will do 120% more damage so I'm going to select one this one one from the stars during the hunt enemies will have 30% larger aggro radius I'm going to choose this one and maybe from coins during the hunt enemies will regenerate healed 20 about 25% every 10 seconds this one so this is going to add me the extra reward as well not the challenge one random broken one armor piece three emeralds and 100 austral diamonds woohoo more emeralds so after you choose your cards just remember to always choose the cards really carefully uh, depending on a party you are in or if you are alone to, to not make it too difficult for yourself and right now we are going to enter the map let's do this so as you can see first appearance is the feet and you can see in my list right here it's a fell bridge so i'm searching for the fell bridge and it's right here i mark it and move to the location On the road, on the <laughs> road again. <laughs> oh, wrong way. The, the monsters have the 30% more radio location, so they spot me from really far. That, that makes it the, the location itself really dangerous. Mm -hmm. I choose it uh, just, just, just to show you guys how it works. I just got stunned from one of the mobs. And I lost my pet. This is not going to be fun. I'm coming. So every time you cross that bridge, make sure to, to check your companion. Because I lost mine right now. In doing this by yourself, on your own, it might not be as fun. Definitely not without companion so now the monster ran away we need to go to the second location which is which is necromancer going to surround my pet and choose the second location necromancer is ruins of the Perez. let's see what it is so 
about it. You marked it again and moved to the location. No! You're going the wrong way again. <laughs> I fell down. That's all right. Actually, I just take a shortcut. Look at that. Well, if I'm going to die here, I'm going to blame Rooks for it. <laughs> he always blames me. It's okay. Well, I took you here to help me out so I could actually slot some more difficult cards here, but you <laughs> seem to wander it's off somewhere by yourself. <laughs> oh, this, this river is so slow. The map itself is, is really nice and smooth. And you can actually finish the hunt really fast if, if you if you know the locations. Because it's much easier to... The first hunt I ever did was without knowing the locations, so it took a while to actually find a monster and run around the whole map, search for where it could be, and it's somewhere here. They are going I'm on my way, one hour later. <laughs> as you can see, the monsters are hitting quite hard as well with that 120% extra damage. But I really wanted to, to show you how the cards actually work. That threat radius is insane. Bombs are catching up to me like 50 feet away. <laughs> This is great. Well, I'm basically doing this by myself because Rooks is just hanging out there. <laughs> I fell. Okay, I'm here. So there's all sorts of cards and you, before you actually select the card, you should read the, the description of what that card does. Where's the monster? Mm, should be here. Are we in a good location? I found him. Right here. Right here. The hunts is actually a fun right now because you you can actually set the challenge you want to do. If you want to challenge yourself more, you can add couple cards with mobs hitting you harder or yep, exactly. seeing you from out further by, by adding the aggro radius range. <laughs> the third location is the dreadful Chamberman. Ghost. Wait, what? Is the ghost. Oh, sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. For that oh, chance, the ghost. The ghost is. Graveyard. What is the graveyard? Where is it? Oh, I found it. Found it as well. Oh. You're going to wrong direction again. Yep, yeah, I know. Just realized. This adding the range is, is really incredible. We can see yeah, I know, it's so sweet, far. right? I like it. You can, you can have like 100 mobs on you while you're doing your hunt. Well, without legendary mount, that, that is not as fun as it looks like. Well, how, how, do, how do you think I feel? <laughs> look, at, look where I am behind you. <laughs> I'm on a stupid pig mount. <laughs> Yeah, that's the sweet. That's the sweet thing about the uh, the hunts. You can make as hard as you want. Well, depending on the uh, the cards that you have, that is. Yes. You can actually challenge yourself, but if you if you feel bored. Exactly. Like 200% more damage on the mob. I mean, on the uh, on the hunt, or like 200% more health, something like that. That's gonna be really so fun just, for tier threes. And you can get the oh, cards. Oh, that! Woohoo! Look at that. One of the epic pieces. 
Genau. So and you can get the cards from absolutely everywhere. It's a random drop. It drops from the mobs. It drops from the dungeon mobs as well. So collecting the books is not really hard. I got all those uh, 12 or 14 books just from doing introduction quests. So I'm going to open some rewards to show you. And as you can see, I got a two stars poster from this one hunt. And from it, after I finish, I have a chance to drop a three stars poster. Got my hundred astral diamonds. The boots. And my three armor outs. So that would be it for hunts. It's actually a really simple and easy way to to go about it i guess so if you have any questions or or you need help with it just please feel free to to write it in a comment tab or pm me in the game i will gladly explain everything and i'm going to to make a screenshot and link all the locations in the description so you'll have the easier time to to find the monsters around yourself so yes. thank you everybody for watching and thank you rooks for hanging out somewhere <laughs> it was really nice and bye-bye yeah. guys bye-bye